morning, good morning, and good morning. welcome to another travel adventure. Here in Argentina. Here in Argentina. <laughs> so to wrap up this day, we decided to come and spend a couple of days at a beautiful estancia in the province of Buenos Aires. This place is called Puesto Viejo Estancia, which means the old post estancia. And it is a beautiful place here out in the Pampas, the flatlands, the prairies. <laughs> yeah, we basically traded the mountains in the Sierras of Cordoba yes. for the flatlands here mm -hmm. in the province of Buenos Aires. And yeah, yeah. completely different different environment and it's so beautiful and tranquil. Typically when we finish off a trip we're in the city of Buenos Aires mm -hmm. and we're you know the hustle and the bustle all the great yeah. food but we've decided to chill out and enjoy some more tranquility before we leave. And the cool thing about this Estancia is that it is full board so you get your breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner and they also have activities like horseback riding, there is a labyrinth, they have bicycles so you can explore the property plus as extra activities you can even book a polo lesson because they do specialize in polo here at Puesto Yeah, Viejo. and there's even a yoga class after breakfast. I'm like, nah, <laughs> you like, know, no, I didn't finish my morning routine, so I wasn't ready for yoga. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's a little taste of what's to come. So we are going to grab some bikes and tour the Estancia. Apparently it's like 220 acres, so it's a pretty big place to cover on foot con paparones. Say hey, hi! Paparones. How's it going? Hi. We have lots of cats dogs and everything in between yeah yeah so here we've got the bikes you can choose got the bikes you can pick and choose they're all different size heights I, I suppose i don't know if this is seat adjustable not really you need a <laughs> you need a proper tool so. one that fits. best to find one that fits yeah this this apparently is going to fit me perfectly no gears either you just oh. go with what you got well it's flat here yeah, so exactly <laughs> It should be okay. I should be just fine. Got some breaks. Yeah, this is the flattest landscape you could ever find. Pampas. The Pampas. Okay, wait for me. Yeah. Woo. Hey. Ah! I just realized the bikes do have brakes. It's the pedal backward kind. Oh, of course. Yeah, and we've got the pupper leading the way. Beautiful entrance, beautiful avenue lined with trees for biking. You know, it's so, so epic, huh? How they've placed the trees yeah. symmetrically, beautifully positioned. And of course it leads to the hotel. And we are leaving, we're off. And we can see off in the distance there, we can see cows between the farmland. And it's just beautiful. Nobody, just us and the pepperoni. Yeah. Well guys, we found the labyrinth here on site at the Estancia. This is really cool. So I love reading the little info plaques before I visit any attraction. And it said that this particular labyrinth was inspired by the one at Leeds Castle wow. in England. Um, the hedges are over two meters tall and also it has over 1300 meters worth of trails yes. here in the labyrinth. And there's, <laughs> apparently, if, if we can find it, there's a tower in the middle. Yes. Where we'll get some good views. And the last time we did this was with our good friend Valentine just outside of oh, Albalsan. Yeah, Do you remember, remember that? that? 
We visited the biggest labyrinth in South America. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was awesome. We got, we got ridiculously lost too. But so eventually totally we lost. found our way out. Eventually found our way out. And I think we rewarded ourselves with cake afterwards, we if I remember did. correctly. We did! Look at that! There is a video of that on the channel. Yeah, so hopefully we won't get as lost this time. Looks like we've just hit a dead end. Oh, oh, no, it keeps going. Well, maybe not quite. But yeah, they told us there's a tower right in the center of the labyrinth that you can climb up and, like, enjoy the view of the labyrinth for what it is. So hopefully we, we get there. Oh my gosh, we were just taking the most random path la, here. La la la. La la la. Zero consideration to where we've been going. Felt like there were a lot of wrong turns before we finally <laughs> made it in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Well guys, we just finished having lunch. I hope you can hear me okay because it is kind of windy, kind of breezy out here in the Pampas. Um, so let me walk you through the menu. For the appetizer, I had a Swiss chard tart with egg, which was delicious. I really enjoyed that, loved it. And Sam got a fried mozzarella stick with a barbecue sauce, which was also really nice. And then we both ended up ordering pasta just because we've been eating so much meat. We've been in Argentina for a while. So we were like, let's try something different. Maybe we'll go back to the meat <laughs> later today for dinner. And then dessert was a real highlight. Sam got the tiramisu and I got the flan. The flan was amazing. Perfect consistency, perfect texture, and a spoonful of dulce de leche right next to it. So. That was great, we're feeling satisfied. Um, and now we've got a little bit of a break before we have our horse riding outing. So we'll be doing that this afternoon and then merienda time, which is afternoon tea. Hi, Paparino. 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 Ay, 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 ay. It's Paparino, Paparino. Mm -hmm. How cute. Guys, it is time for us to go do our horse trek very soon, but there are people playing polo, so we're going to try to show you that with this camera that has no zoom, so we'll see how much you can actually see. Probably not very much. Horse is running. No. You could change the zoom setting. Polo time. Hey, this is interesting. I realize I've never, never watched the polo match this close before. So this is a, uh, a new experience. Oh, wow, look. Look at them go. Look da -da, at them da -da, go. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Wow. Polo horses. Wow. Oh, can they keep the lead? They're coming, they're catching up. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Oh, they missed it. Oh, passed it up. Come on, horses. We're going horseback riding. We're going horseback riding. It's a little bit easier for me to say than apparently than cavalgatas. Cavalgatas. We're gonna go. Let's do it. Let's go do the cavalgatas. Got a ride to the stables. 
Horses are back there somewhere. You've got horseback riding horses and polo horses. Hopefully we get a friendly one, a tame one. Qué lindo, muy bien, muy bien. And you? Yeah, well, you're making friends with the dogs. I've got a couple cats. Let's look at this. Oh, oh she's sweet. It's wolf on, huh? Mush, mush, mush. But the dog gets jealous. Mush, mush, he came mush. and he pawed Sam like, it no. Was, no, it wasn't just a paw, it was a double paw. Like, bah. Off the cat. Hey. Pet me. me. ¿Verdad? Te pusiste celoso. Why don't you make it wide again? It is. I feel like you forgot. No? If what you learned on the three day horse trek stuck or not. So all the rooms here at this estancia, there's 10 bedrooms in all. They're named after different horses, which is pretty cool. I like her name. Yeah. Matilda. Good morning guys. Good morning. It is a very early morning here at the airport. We're at Ezeiza in Buenos Aires. Got up way too early. <laughs> Alarm went off at 3.30 a.m. Oh man. Taxi at four. Yeah, we're, we're in full on zombie mode. Oh I my mean, gosh. I barely know who or I am, where I am, what I'm <laughs> what doing. What I am. What I am. I am. Human. Yeah. What am I doing on this planet? Um, yeah, but we realized like yesterday it was just so busy with like the horse trek and dinner and then like packing up to get ready for the airport that we didn't really finish the video. So we wanted to share some concluding thoughts on our Estancia experience. Yeah. So shall I go first or sure. would you like to? Go ahead. So I really enjoyed being out in the countryside. It was cool to see the province of Buenos Aires and just like pampas, flatlands, prairies for all you Canucks out there. And it was also a really cool hotel. Like I did enjoy the historic yeah. property and it just, I don't know, it just felt like you were kind of on a ranch. 
that being said, like we had such a good experience doing the three day horse trek with the gauchos yeah. when we stayed in the outpost in Cordoba when we crossed the Sierras that this was almost like a little underwhelming just because the horse riding was very minimal. <laughs> yeah, it was just like a little little circle around the yes. property. Yeah. And also the person we went with maybe wasn't having the best day and I don't know. There was a lack of connection, very minimal communication. So yeah. I don't know, sometimes you just feel like somebody's going through the motions as opposed to someone who's like super passionate, like mm. I want to share with you why I love riding horses. Yeah, um, I think I think one of the things was like this the stay was more about like rest and relaxation. Yes. Whereas the horse track was a was a real adventure. Yeah. We were meeting up with, you know, gauchos who were passionate about yes. being out on the trail and uh -huh. taking us over a mountain pass. And this time it was just about kind of all inclusive. Yes. Eating meals, doing your own thing. And you know what else I realized? Like when we did the court of a horse trek, we visited working estancias along the way. Right. We're like, you know, they're raising cattle and horses and sheep. And this is now like a former estancia turned like polo club. Yeah. So different vibe. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Still glad we did it. A really nice way to end off the trip super relaxing outside of the city we didn't want to spend time in a chaotic city after like such a busy trip we've had so yeah. we're like you know what let's try something different so yeah that is the first time we've we've done something like this normally mm -hmm. we just head back into buenos aires spend yeah. a few days racing around eating good food this time it was it was an interesting way to just do something different mm -hmm. relax a bit more yes yeah and like you said i'm glad we did it and um if you're thinking of doing something similar Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really cool idea but also just i found it easier to get to the airport from from there too. yes a much shorter drive much shorter sure. drive not nearly as much traffic yeah and so it just made the logistics of ending our, our time here in argentina a little bit easier as well yeah and as a tip for anyone considering estancias there are actually several like within a 30 minute radius of the airport of the international airport Ezeiza. So if you want to do something relaxing, you've got several estancias to choose from, all with like a slightly different vibe. Yep. So yeah, that's the update. Now we are going to fly to Toronto via Bogota. So it is travel time. Travel and time. we've got the souvenirs. Yeah, of course. The I'll alfajores. show you what that looks like. To share with the family. We're, we're, we're not allowed back in the door. Yeah, of your without parents' a box house. Of Havana. The, no, not just one. Several. Two boxes. Yeah. Of and we also we also have the, the Cordoba. They're called Alfajores Cordobeses. Oh yeah. In our big suitcases. Guys. So we're not coming. We're fully loaded. And wine too. We're not coming home empty-handed. But um. So yeah. Yeah, that was the trip. That is the trip. Are we gonna vlog some of the flight home? Sure. Maybe. Let's yeah, see. Let's, sure. Let's do that. Yes. So it won't be by just yet. We'll show you a bit of the journey. All right. Well, hello, hello. We made it past flight number one. We made it to Colombia. Yeah. Greetings from Bogota. Greetings from Bogota. Greetings from a beautiful restaurant we just found here. Yeah, Sam, you got himself the burger. Yep. I got myself some like fried pork, plantain, guacamole and the best drink we have ever had yeah the best lemonade of all time yeah it's got coconut as a base so, so good. Thick and good i have never heard of a coconut lemonade it's almost like a lemonade meets a coconut smoothie like it's so good it reminds me of those awesome shakes and smoothies we see in chiang mai mm -hmm. remember that mm -hmm. yep so makes me want to come and travel here yeah, just to drink all the smoothies like we really need to come to colombia sometime i know seriously 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 and now let's try some of this mm, me too also sorry but we didn't film much of the flight we were in like the middle row so not much to see no window oh that's so good mm. oh. so yeah we have like two and a half hours before our next flight so gonna enjoy a little bite 